Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another game of Popper. We are playing some mono blue aggro, and well, ooh, it's a four land hand, but we do have Ninja and Fairy Seer or Merfolk Looter. I think we can keep this. This is kind of heavy. We don't want to draw another land for the rest of the game, but Fairy Seer should help us do exactly that. We are on the play, which helps as well to maybe get this Ninja out on turn two. Okay. Let's do our first scry. There's another island. We will keep the Bone Splitter, however. That's a really good draw. And pass the turn. Swamp. Come on, don't kill my dude. Okay, cool. Let's get in. Hopefully we don't get disfigured. That would be a shame. Hmm. Well, I'm not not going to go for it. <laughs> Come on, don't have it, please. Yes. Always yes. Always yield. Ooh, spell starter sprite. That'll be really good. Opponent? Gonna Baron more, I guess, at this point? Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh. It's going to be uh, the... Um, Whales of the Damned, oh, what is it called? Ugh. It's a cycling deck. Jeez, uh, but they play two lands? It's not the one land spy deck, what is it? Echoes of the Damned, uh, what's that, what's the name of that sorcery? I do not remember. Well. Oh boy, are we lagging? There we go. Okay. Nothing weird happened there. Uh, let's... Oh, double Spell Stutter is pretty sweet, too. Let's Fairy Seer. Hopefully everything is going okay. I'm crazy. Okay. Let's yield to that. Ponder, ponder. Hmm. Well, I'm going to draw one of those ponders. Uh, I guess I don't mind having more than one, but you know what? I think we're going to put one on the bottom. One on top. I like having two spell stutters here. This is very good for us, especially because we'll be able to leave, we'll be able to leave both up next turn. Or it's very likely that we use another one. We'll probably go with double cycle. We kind of want to pressure them as much as possible. So I might just go with a uh, bone splitter next turn. I'm not sure how fast this deck wins, usually. And the caravan. Yep. Okie dokie. I probably shouldn't yield to that. This little button's so handy. Used to have to undo all my auto yields and then do them again one at a time. There's the lot rot beast. Street Wraith. And Horror of the Broken Lands. Foil. Tapped out. Haven't played a third land. I don't think this deck plays many lands, honestly. Okay. Ooh, Briarberry. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and play the Bone Splitter. Start getting in for decent chunks of damage. So we've got him on a pretty nice clock here. Three turns. Ooh, Unstable Mutation will be really good next turn, too. Uh, did they dredge? What just happened there? Stinkweed and dredge. Okay, very good. I didn't notice that was in there. There's Tortured Existence. What's going on here? Hmm. 
They got two Grave Scrabblers in the graveyard. I don't know what this deck is now. They're still on just two lands, though that doesn't mean much. They can play uh, the thing that makes them have tons and tons of mana. Um, they get a black mana for each creature in their graveyard. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I should play the Spell Stutter Sprite to have lethal this turn. So let's do that. Hopefully they can't win at instant speed on their end step. Looks like they're just gonna go to this guard. Unless they have some... No, they don't. Excellent. So, let's... I guess I should go for the Fairy Miscreant. What could they possibly... One, two, three... Is there any harm in me going with another mis another fairy? I don't think so. Okay, let's play the fairy. Miscreant. Let's play Unstable Mutation on Fairy Seer. And let's get in for lethal damage. With Spell Stutter Sprite back up. Cool, we got there. Okay, so I really don't know what's going on over here. I imagine we're going to need all three relics. Uh, I don't know if maybe they're running some sort of... Um, sort of reanimator package. I imagine Curfew's probably pretty decent. Um, I said, I don't know. I haven't. I didn't see any Ulamog's Crushers or anything. Uh, we did see Tortured Existence, so maybe a Null is worth it? I really couldn't tell you. We also don't seem to play very many lands, so maybe Spreading Seas will be worth it. Though, if their hand wasn't really functioning... Though, they drew, they drew way more than we did. I really don't know. So, like, Spreading Seas could be a consideration, as could a Null. I think with the three relics, we're probably good to go. And, I mean, like, if they're running Ulomox Crushers, then Kazmita's Transmutation kind of makes sense. Um, do I really want four Curfew? I think we're going to try and skip out on those. Um... I might just do the usual kind of just trimming here. I might cut a looter, actually. Maybe I won't go with all the annuls. So I want to I get these seven cards in and cut more stuff. They don't seem to be heavy on removal. I think I'll cut maybe a bone splitter, another ponder, three more. Ugh. I never feel like the jank them out strategy with the spreading seas is worth it, but maybe it is. Maybe it is. I definitely want all three relics. Is the Anul worth it? Or should I just ignore the uh, tortured existence? Because if it turns down, if it comes down on turn one, then these are just dead dead draws from then on. Maybe it's not worth it for now. Let's let's wait and see. Uh, maybe we cut. Cut one more ponder just go with the aggressive spectrum here. If they're a low land deck, then the Spreading Seas, and it looks like they were a low land deck. Okay, again with the four land hand, we have double fairy seer plus instilled mutation. I think we can keep this. Not much interaction. We are on the draw this time. Opponent plays their land, cycles. Choosing which one to cycle, I guess. Whoop. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's run out the relic right away. So they'll cycle. We'll, uh, uh, we'll hold control. Save targets, always yield. That avoids us having to click so much. Ooh, boy, I'm really lagging. Sorry, guys. Whoa! Alright, there we go. So now we can have six. And there's a the torch existence. So luckily we have the relic here to kind of take care of stuff, hopefully. And curfew, again, is, is quite decent. Let's fairy seer. Luckily we haven't been drawing any more islands. Though we don't draw, we don't have that many in our deck, so uh, we're gonna yield to this. Another 
Island. Well, I think we'll keep the unstable mutation since it uh, will keep us in control of this game. And I'm just going to leave up Relic and Curfew. Opponent didn't do any um, any cycling. They're likely holding something back. Okay. Exiling the monstrous carabid. Cycling. So they'll be able to get an activation of tortured existence, I guess. That's probably what they're aiming for. Regardless of what happens with the tortured existence, we'll always get some sort of value, yeah, out of uh, the relic. So, if they want to recycle the raw beast and put something less consequential in their graveyard, they can always do that. Um, so, I guess I just want to go for max damage, don't I? Or, you know what, let's let's take it slightly slower, and we'll just unseal mutation, and then play Fairy Seer, uh, just because it uh, will help us smooth out our draws even more. This card is so sweet. One mana for Scry 2 that on a 1-1 one -one body with a relevant creature type is outstanding. Uh, let's put the miscreant on the bottom. I will put the looter on top. And we'll pass. That lets me uh, play the island, play the looter, play and still the mutation, and still leave up curfew and relic next turn. Okay, Architects. Okay, they're discarding Stinkweed Imp to return that to their hand. So, yeah, okay. And then they'll dredge, I guess, with... Uh, Stinkweed Imp? Yeah, so here they'll, they'll probably fill up their graveyard. Playing Fairy Macabre. I wonder what that's for. So you can do it again if you... Oh, no. Uh, no, they, don't, they didn't get another Dredger. I wonder if they're playing Golgari Brownscale. That could be a problem. Here comes the looter. We'll play it unstable. I guess we want to play it on the same ferry. So that so when we play curfew, we can just pick the same ferry up. Though I, I... Hopefully the game won't go that long. I doubt it will. Down to nine, you go. Here's the looter. Okay, so they've discarded the Stinkweed Imp. They're tapped out. What do we do? Do we crack the relic here? Because they're going to be able to build up their graveyard even more. I think I'll pass still. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so they're waiting to dredge. Oh, they didn't dredge. Hmm. What are they hoping to draw? 
Oh, it's Songs of the Damned. I think that's the name of the card. That deals damage to... Or is that the one that gives mana? Oh, I don't know. There's definitely some funny business like that going on if you're playing that many uh, cyclers. You feel like cycling some street wraiths, maybe? Come on. If I got another relic, I'd be very happy. Oh, so there's the Golgari Brown Scale. So we'll be able to gain lots of life off of that. So we kind of have to catch them while they're tapped out, unfortunately, or else they can, in theory, just activate that again. That's so they are. Yeah, this is gonna get. This is gonna make our life really complicated. Oh, never mind. Maybe not. So we are going to crack this. Briarberry's nice. Six, seven, eight. Oh no, it's gonna be four here. Four, five, six. Bring him down to three. Yeah. So if I, I was thinking of going with curfew. Get rid of the stink weed imp. Get one last hit in with this Fairy Seer. Replay the Fairy Seer. Smooth out our draw some more. Yeah, I think that's probably the play. Let's go with Curfew. They're not dead. They're down to three life. Uh, we got rid of one Golgari Brown Scale, but the dis they still have five cards in hand, plus the Tortured Existence, though we're not putting anything in their graveyard. So we're going to take back this Fairy Seer. And we're not going to play this land yet, because we want to loot. The Fairy Seer's going to become a 2-2 next turn, which still kills the um, Stinkweed Imp. Okay, let's draw. Discard. Let's play Fairy Seer. Bone Splitter, Briarberry. Okay, so we're gonna go top and top. Bone Splitter on Looter will likely be game. Let's play Briarberry. And pass. Well, shields down. They have no graveyard. Oh yeah, you know stuff is uh, getting weird when uh, <laughs> they play Conjurer's Bobble. Sacking the Bobble, putting uh, Arch Architects of Will, was that the one that went on the bottom? Yeah, Horror of the Broken Lands went on the bottom. You're at two life. They got a win now. What's it going to be? Songs of the Damned? Nope. More cycling and scoop? Yep. Okay. Well, we never really got to see what this deck did, but I think we managed to, you know, be faster than it in the game in the first game and kind of hate it out in the second game, which is kind of what you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.